So now we can consolidate uh, some properties of the uh, boundary. So let x together with some topology tau be a topological space. And let set A be a subset of the space X. Then we have three ways to compute the boundary. By definition, the boundary is the complement of the union of the interior of A with the exterior of A. The boundary is also the closure of A set minus the interior of A. The boundary of A is also the intersection of the closure of A with the closure of the complement of A. The boundary is always a subset of the closure of A. The union of the boundary of A with the interior of A is the closure of A. The intersection of the boundary of A with the interior of A is empty. The boundary of A is always a closed set. And the boundary of A is empty if and only if the set A is both open and closed. Okay, so next uh, we will prove a theorem relating uh, a T1 space to uh, a cluster point of a subset in the space. So let the space X be a T1 or Frechet space. And then let the set A be a subset of the space X. Then a point in the space is a cluster point of the set A if and only if every open neighborhood of the point X contains infinitely many points of the set A. Okay, so proof. Suppose that the point X in the space X is a cluster point of the set A. We need to show that every open neighborhood of the point X contains infinitely many points of the set A So suppose to the contrary, that there exists an open neighborhood U of X 
that contains only finitely many. points of the set A. Then, the intersection of the set U with the complement of the singleton containing the point X in the set A is a finite set of points which we'll call X sub 1 through X sub M. And as this is a finite set, it is closed as every finite point set. It is closed in a T1 space. And so the complement of this finite point set is open as it is the complement of a closed set and the union the correction the intersection of the set U and this complement of the finite point set is open as it is a finite union or rather a finite intersection of open sets now as the point X is in the set U as U is a neighborhood of the point and the point X is also in the complement of the finite point set containing the distinct points X sub 1 through X sub M we have the point X is in the intersection of the set U and the complement of this finite point set. That is, the intersection of the set U with the complement of the finite point set containing the points X sub 1 through X sub M is an open neighborhood of the point X such that the intersection of this neighborhood with the complement of the singleton containing the point X in the set A is empty. But this contradicts the fact that the point X is a cluster point. Of the set A, and hence by contradiction, every open neighborhood of the point X contains infinitely many points of the set A. Conversely, suppose that every open neighborhood of the point X contains infinitely many points.
of the set A. Then, for, for that open neighborhood U, intersected with the complement of the singleton containing the point X in the set A, this contains infinitely many, also contains infinitely many. of the set A, and this is true for every open neighborhood, U of X, that is, for every open neighborhood, U of X, the intersection of that neighborhood with the complement of the singleton containing the point X in the set A is not empty and hence the point X is a cluster point. Of the set A. Okay. So next we'll prove a theorem uh, concern, concerning isolated points in a given space. So let the set X together with the uh, A topology tau be a topological space. Where the cardinality of the set X, underlying set X, is greater than or equal to 2. Then a point X in the space X is an isolated point of the space if and only if the singleton containing that point is an open set. So proof. Suppose that the point X in the space X is an isolated point of the space, then there exists an open neighborhood U of X such that the intersection of the set U with the space X is the singleton containing the point X. And so the intersection of the set U with the complement of the singleton containing the point X in the space X is empty. Now as the cardinality of the underlying set is greater than or equal to 2, the complement of the singleton containing the point X in the space X is not empty. And hence, we must have that the set U is the singleton containing the point X. That is, U is an open neighborhood of the point X uh, and is equal to the singleton containing the point X. Therefore, the singleton containing the point X is an open set. So conversely, suppose that the singleton containing the point X is open. Then, the singleton containing the point X is an open neighborhood of the point X, such that the intersection of this neighborhood with the space X is the singleton containing the point X, and hence, the point X is an isolated point. of 
of the SpaceX. Okay, so as an exercise, let the collection script B be the set of all subsets of a given set X such that the point P is in that subset and let the sets use of one and use of two be elements in this collection script B show that if a point X is in the set use of one and the point X is in the set use of two then there exists a third element use of three in the collection script B such that the point X is in this element use of three which is a subset of the intersection of use of one and use of two okay so we will end here for today next time we will look at the concept of a basis for a uh, topology uh, and for a topological space and we'll look at uh, a topology generated by a basis so I hope you have enjoyed the sixth lecture. Thanks for watching.